Lesson number 27, Unresponsive Computer. By the end of this lesson, you should determine how to shut down unresponsive computer and demonstrate how to rectify program failure during booting and shutting down of the computer system. Computers are cool machines. They make our lives and work easier, but they can be messy sometimes. Imagine you are using a computer to make an important bank transaction and in the middle of the process, it freezes or stops responding. A computer that fails to respond to commands is called an unresponsive computer. This lesson will discuss how to deal with unresponsive computers. It will also demonstrate how to rectify program failure of booting and shutting down. But before we go any further, let's deal with terminologies that are key to this lesson. Booting. This is the process of starting or switching on the computer. Code boot. This is when you switch on the computer that was completely off. Warm boot. Restarting the computer. You should also note that there are three ways in which the computer can be unresponsive. These are A. When it freezes during booting. B. When it freezes during shutdown. And C when it hangs during a process. Let's start by discussing the booting process. To boot the computer is simply to start or restart it. At this point, we will focus on code boot, that is, starting the computer which is completely off. The first stage in the booting process is pressing the power button. When you press the power button to switch on the computer, the CPU or processor performs the basic input and output system test to ensure the healthy of the hardware and connections inside the computer. The BIOS proceeds to check the RAM, adapter cards, and the system clock. These tests are also known as power on, self tests, or post. After this stage, the BIOS continues to check for the operating system files, which in most cases are stored on the hard disk. In some cases, 
the operating system files may be stored on the CD, DVD or the flash disk. OS files are later loaded on the memory and executed. Once the computer boots, some files of the OS terminates and the kernel, which is the heart of the OS, remains loaded in the memory. The kernel performs functions of managing computer memory and directing computer's resources. After this stage, the OS proceeds to load the system's configurations which are stored in the computer registry. These configurations include passwords, user preferences, or installed hardware and software. During the last stage of booting process, icons are displayed on the screen and other programs and applications are made available to be used by the user. At this moment, let's discuss some of the issues that may cause the computer to hang or freeze during booting process or normal operation. These issues may include computer viruses, malware, corrupt files, corrupt hard drive, hardware extensions, bad video drivers, illegal operation, and overheating of the processor. In short, all highlighted issues may affect the computer in various ways such as malfunctioning, alteration of important computer data, slowing the speed of the processor and more. Eventually, these problems may lead the computer to hang or freeze. As we conclude the lesson, let's discuss solutions that you may consider to avoid some of the highlighted problems with your computer. A. Ensure that you remove or disable any third-party program that may interfere with the operation of the computer. Usually, these are programs that run in the background during the booting process or normal operation of the computer. B. If your computer hangs or freezes during booting or a process, simply reboot it. C. You should also ensure that you repair or restore all damaged and corrupt files. D. Ensure that all drivers are up to date. E. Install an up to date antivirus software and update your computer regularly. F. To iron out issues to do with hard drive fragmentations, run a scan or defrag it to ensure that it runs perfectly. You should also ensure that you scan your computer for malware and viruses. Malware and viruses are notorious for negatively affecting the speed of the computer. Problems of overheating are usually caused by inadequate flow of air in and out of the computer. To ensure the effectiveness of the fan, always keep your computer clean to avoid dust, oils, 
and other data to accumulate that may interfere with the flow of air in the computer. Summary. In this lesson, you learned how to rectify program failures that may arise during booting, shutting down, or normal operation of the computer system. You also learned that there are two types of booting, that is a code boot, which refers to the starting of the computer that is completely off, and one boot, which refers to restarting a computer that is already running. Revision exercise. A. Define the following terms. Warm boot, cold boot, and responsive computer. B. State four things that can make a computer to hang or freeze during booting or normal operation. C. Describe how you can rectify a computer that is unresponsive. <laughs>